The early 2000s were a strange time for hardcore Generation 1 Transformers fans, as we were swamped in Transformers content and merchandise, but none of it was based on G1. It was a case of water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink. In the UK, the PlayStation 2 had two different Transformers games based on two different franchises. First came Atari's effort based on the Transformers Armada series. I remember feeling such cognitive dissonance when I heard it was in development. A Transformers game, yay, based on Armada, boo. The game actually turned out to be incredibly good with non-stop action and truly mind-melting boss fights, absolutely epic in scope. Okay, it wasn't my G1 Optimus, but it was an Optimus. I would have been happy with that game had it not been for one single sidebar in PlayStation Magazine, which ruined my life and any chance of happiness. The magazine had a feature on the upcoming Atari game, and with a section about previous Transformers games, from the very first on the Commodore 64 to the most recent, 2003's Transformers G1 game. Wait, wait, what? There it was. One single screenshot and a tiny paragraph detailing Takara's Japan-only release. I was enraged. Why did Japan get something I wanted and needed so badly? Don't they know that every nerd my age with a PlayStation would snap their hands off to play this? Why the fuck were we playing with the characters from the Armada series and not G1? It seemed so unfair, and it really did my head in. At the time, I had absolutely no idea how to go about importing a game from Japan. I didn't know about modding consoles, so it just pissed me off for years. In 2007, we got the first of the movie-based games, and I enjoyed them. But it always was there, eating away at my deepest, geekiest recesses. Bastards! Since then, we've been spoiled with G1 gaming content. But whilst trying to think of a topic for a new video, I asked myself, what is truly the one game you've never played that you'd love to? And it was the same answer it's been since 2004. Transformers Takara. So I looked for a copy on eBay and a Japanese PS2. I was looking at spending over a hundred pounds just to play this one game. Well, I'm a working class lad with a working class job, so fuck that. I'm going to be emulating a PS2 on my Android S9 telephone. Yep, that's right. Your phone is now powerful enough to emulate a PlayStation 2. So let's play this bad boy. It gives me absolutely immense pleasure to finally be able to say to you in Japanese, roll out. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to be using an app called Daemon PS2, which is available on the Play Store. Um, it is a paid app. It's six pounds. Um, but I think that's worth it to turn your your phone into a a PlayStation. Um, it's not just as simple as downloading the game, however. You have to download the game ISO. It's called an ISO file, a ISO. And then you need to download the game BIOS, B-I-O-S, BIOS. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know what a BIOS file is, but you have to, so download the app, then find, just Google PlayStation 2 BIOS, uh, and then you, you unzip that file, and you should be able to play the game. So, as I said in the intro, this is something I've been wanting to play for um, almost 15 years. I would have had no idea that it existed if it wasn't for one tiny little section in that magazine. So, here we go, let's load it up. Ah, memories. I spent some serious time with my PlayStation 2. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it actually works. Uh, I would have been happy to buy a copy from eBay and a Japanese PS2 or um, a modded PlayStation, but I just haven't got that kind of money, so we're going to break the law in order to make my dreams come true.
I'm going to let all the intros play out because I want to see it. I'm not sure if it oh that's so amazing. I'm not sure if this is just awful music or if it's playing weird and skipping because it's an emulation, I'm not really sure. Alvatron. Bill Jack! Jazz! Oh man. Oh, why is everything in Japan so much cooler than here? Again, for some context, 2003, all you had if you wanted new G1 content was the Dreamwave comic books, which were excellent. Um, I think you'll find they're actually fairly pricey now. But if you've never read the Dreamwave comics, um, drawn by Pat Lee, um, you need to get on them they were incredible but there was so the frustration of us having a game based on the Armada franchise which I could never get into I tried um, and then they had this at the time in Japan I mean I don't know if it was a rights issue or if they just really underestimated our oh, Rodimus Convoy <laughs> Did they just underestimate the passion of the or the size of the G1 fan base because since then we've had uh, there's been loads of G1 based games we've had loads of mobile games we've had, um, is it Devastation on the PS3 and PS4, which is an excellent game. And I did really enjoy the the Atari game, but it just... Oh, this is amazing. Confrontation of the Fate. Now, I'm not sure what all that information at the top of the screen means. I think we've got frame rates per second. I don't know what EE means, or GS, or VU, or CPU, or GPU. But who cares? It's a PlayStation 2 game literally running on an Android S9. I'm using my PS4 controller. A battle without an end. Oh, no way, check that out. Headmasters. Oh my gosh. Well, I was at uni 2003, 2004, and if I'd have had this game, I would have failed university even harder than I did anyway. Stunning. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, it's a travesty that people in the West did not get this game. Nice. Ooh. Again, I've got no idea. I can't tell if this is glitchy or running slow. I suppose the only way for me to find out would be to find a YouTube video of someone actually playing this on the PlayStation, try and make a, a comparison by sight. Okay, let's do it, man. Wow. I can hear the sound is kind of glitchy, isn't it? But I don't care. Hello? Oh no, don't do this to me. Where have you gone? Ah. Oh, 
even the title screen is beautiful. Uh, we'll go for a new game. Cybertron Destron. Cybertron. I'm going to go for easy and I'm not afraid to admit it. Oh. Oh. Future. I guess that's the official title of the game then. Oh, well, I don't know what that says. I'm guessing it's about Megatron. No, I'm going to press start here. Was that slow? I don't know. Hard to tell. Whoa! Finally made it! See, I don't know if this is the emulation or if it is the... Jack, you call that roller coaster ride a landing? That's not bad, Jazz. Not a bad one. I don't think it's supposed to be this slow, is it? This is definitely glitching out because it's an emulation. Surely. Oh man. This is painful. Let's try and get into the gameplay and hope it's not glitching out. Maybe I will be forced to buy a... I've seen pianos land more softly. Are we going to be able to lift off after that? I can't take it. We're going to press start. Oh yeah, look at that. Frame rates per second, 8.7. Something's going wrong here. It's glitching out on the uh, cutscene. Oh, I suppose that's what you get for playing games illegally, but come on. Now we're back up to 44 frames per second. 50. Oh, it's not handling the music very well, is it? But oh, look at that! <laughs> oh man, what is happening with the sound? It's awful. If anyone who is watching this more technically proficient than I am, because I am essentially a Luddite, bumbling his way through, is there any way I can improve the performance of this app? The sound issues? Wow, he looks incredible. That's my Optimus. Right, it'd be nice if we could get into some actual gameplay, wouldn't it? So I'm going to skip all this. Oh my gosh, it's running very slow, isn't it?
I would not be offended if anybody watching fast forwarded from this part to the uh, to the gameplay. What we got here? Character select. Let's check out the roster. Convoy, who I know is Optimus Prime, but he doesn't appear to be loading up. Wheel check. Okay, wheel convoy. Partner select. Meister, the Jazz Meister. <laughs> we'll go wheel jack. Oh no, frame rate struck in again. Formation. Yes, that will do. Uh, just guessing what that says. Woohoo! Look at him! Oh. I'm not going to let the awful cutscenes and terrible music put me off. How excited I am about this. Our shuttle has been targeted by the Decepticons. We must hurry back. Autobots, roll out. Okay. Let's do it then. What is this? Oh, come on, let's just get into it. Oh my god, I'm Optimus Prime. Okay, this is running. Woohoo! <laughs> Have it! What's this? Oish! <laughs> Ah, oh, imagine how good this is on an actual PlayStation. How do I turn to face these punks? Whoa! Where oh, are these dudes? Oh yeah, it's running. Very slow. Visible wall seems to have disappeared. Looks like we can't get rid of that wall unless we take care of all of them. All right, let's move oh, on. He's perfect. He looks perfect. Oh, awesome! Oh, we get the trailer too. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that is a thing of beauty. Oh, press the wrong button. Oh. Right. Come on, come on, Optimus, get punching. Oh, he just got absolutely KO'd. I'm positive the original game could not run this slowly and glitchy. It they wouldn't accept that in Japan, would they? It must be the emulation software, but I don't care. I'm still getting to experience it. It's something that I've wanted to experience since 2003. Not, can't quite figure out how to turn around. Oh, R1. There we go. Oh, sweet. Oh, but I'm getting. There must be a block button. Oh, and I press transform, which I didn't mean to. Oh, running falls down. That's cool. Oh, that is so sweet. The noise, the perfect noise. He transforms the way he's supposed to. It's a shame it's so... just running at this slow rate. But... The 
fact is, you know, okay, the PS2 is is almost 20 year old hardware, but it's still impressive that your modern, current generation phones can can even get anywhere close to this. Or I've got a PS1 emulator, which works pretty perfectly, to be honest. Um, this a little glitchy, but this is new. A few I've been searching for this game and a way to play this game for so long. I've been em into emulations software for about the last sort of five or six years of my life. I've been aware of emulation and I've been looking and checking and keeping on top of whether or not you can emulate a PS2 yet on Android. Uh, you've been able to do it on PC for quite a while but uh, being able to do it on Android is a fairly new development. I imagine you would be able to do it for iOS. Um, you'd have to research that yourself because I, I have no way. Next area. Oh man. Now it's not really fair to compare because I've this, like I say, isn't how the game is supposed to be played. But it doesn't seem anywhere near as sort of quick and exciting as the Atari game based on Transformers Prime, which I actually fell in love with reluctantly at the time when it came out. But um. I don't think it's fair to make that comparison until I've actually played this on the software it was on the hardware it was intended to be played on. But... Oh, hollow axe! Ah! <laughs> right in the nerd feels. Oh, sugar! I'm taking a pound in honor. Well done, Wheeljack. Nice. Oh, he's still up. He's still up. He still thinks he's got it. Have it, have it. There's one more over there. I'm gonna run him down. What a fool he is. There's more over here. Yes. Have it. Ooh, we've got a couple of moves in truck mode. That's cool. Let's try that again, shall we? Have it. Absolutely adore the sounds. Everything about this is, is nostalgia. 101. Oh, come on. Ooh, Optimus getting beat. Ooh. Come on, Optimus. Come on, Optimus. Do something. Punches are a little bit lame to go, but ah, come on, man! I can't tell what's happening. I'm pressing punch for it. Oh, oh, there we go. Hollow axe. Have that. Have that. Come on, Optimus, don't do this to me. Oh, man. Getting beasted. Shut it. No. Oh. oh, man, I'm making a fool of myself here. I'm pressing the wrong button over and over again. I never said I was a good gamer. I'm just a gamer. <laughs> Next area. Well, I think that'll do for now. For the video. I'm certainly going to carry on. See how far I can get in this game. Ooh. You come up with us, but I won't let you get in Megatron's way. Soundwave, get out of the way. Yes, yeah, Soundwave. Do one. Well, uh, despite it running incredibly slowly and glitchily, if that's a word, uh, I'm still mightily impressed that I could even get this to run on my phone. Um, it has killed the curiosity that I've had for like almost 17 years now of, of what this game would be like to play. Um, if I'd have had this game back in the day, if there was a UK release of this, it would have... It, 
I could tell within five minutes of playing it, it would have been my all-time favourite game, purely because it's it's based on the G1 cast of characters. Um, if anything, though, playing this sort of downloaded version has just made me... Maybe I'll put a few quid by and get a Japanese PlayStation or get a modded PlayStation so I can play this game for reals. Um, if you want to do this yourself, remember, it's not exactly legal, so I'm not encouraging to do so, but there are tutorials out there uh, if that's the kind of thing you would like to know. If you have been, thank you very much for watching and listening, and um, hit like and subscribe if you're so inclined. Um, thank you very much. Roll out!